And Paxton town officials discussing new guidelines for animal shelters after last month's deadly fire that killed dozens of pets. Our Andy Madison spoke to the staff at Sweet Pea Animal Shelter and has a look at their fight to get back to their license. Andy. Well, good evening, Tim. After the fire, the shelter lost its license. They're working to rebuild and trying to get the license back, but they say they're waiting to hear from town officials on what to do next. At the Sweet Pea Animal Shelter, the cleanup continues. Crews remove trees to prepare for demolishing this building. It's a total loss from the fire, everything in there. Um, so that way we can start all over and build a new shelter. Almost a month after a fire killed more than 50 animals, the animal shelter is facing an uphill battle after its license was suspended. I don't want to start doing any renovations in the boarding facility to make sure that when we do do renovations to it, that we do it to the standards they want. And those standards might change. Monday night, the Board of Selectmen discussed kennel guidelines and an application form for animal shelters to use. In a statement, town administrator Carol Riches said, quote, the town will be looking to put forth a kennel regulations bylaw for acceptance by voters at the May annual town meeting. At this time, there are no such regulations in place from either the state or town that can be used to assist the animal control officer as he performs his inspections. Town officials also say they've asked Sweet Pea to make two changes to the facility in order to get their license back. Changes the staff says they aren't aware of since they have yet to meet with the board. It would be nice to know what those two things are, and I can't see how they can tell me what they want me to do if they've never even come in here and looked at the facility. Now, the town provided us with a copy of the report from the Department of Agricultural Resources, and they've made several recommendations, but the two main ones are that they want the kennels to be separated and the walls and the floors clean. But again, they still have yet to meet with the Board of Selectmen. So, Tim, stay tuned. Thanks for that.